Dude, doesn't that rip? You're an idiot. No, you're an idiot. Don't be depressed about it. <laughs> Welcome back, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I couldn't think of something snarky. This is the You're an Idiot podcast with... Wait, what's your guys' podcast again? Sorry. Oh, you've been on. You've been on the show. <laughs> I, I totally... Fr- I swear to God. Come on. Just take a guess. See what see what you think it I've is. I've done it. It's fun. <laughs> we cool podcast. Come on. You didn't even do the modicum of research. You're not supposed guys. to talk, Jeff. This is your... Jeff's supposed to be resting his voice yeah. to headline. Low voice. This low is a voice. true, truly like a mice of this men combination. Mm. Opening <laughs> you. I said, well, Welcome this back, is ladies truly and like a Lenny. And you forgot. <laughs> do you know their names? <laughs> yeah, dude. Did, it Alex, did you get, did you get Ryan, CTE uh, playing basketball? You got <laughs> the first guy to get CTE. <laughs> He's the out there with a the football helmet on. <laughs> <laughs> that would check out. <laughs> this is electric. Yeah, yeah, it's good. my fault. These are gr- this is Grant Winkles. I we know. got Tommy Bayer and Ryan Call. Oh, you want me wow. to introduce yeah, them? You're supposed to be supposed to <laughs> <laughs> it's, like po- it's like a 50 It's supposed to be a joint pod. Mm-hmm. It's a joint pod? What do you mean? Yeah. Like, see, we didn't iron this out before. <laughs> yeah. What's this, a joint pod? <laughs> I, didn't, uh, I didn't know this was a joint that, pod. Just people Hit that talking. fucking weed, my guy. Okay. You're old. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Alex is getting stony baloney. King of the act up. <laughs> An invisible joint. Jeff, uh, you better not hit this. You got to yeah. save your voice. So to our listeners, uh, we try, <laughs> we're, we're trying to uh, do a joint pod with the We Cool Podcast. We're in Minneapolis, uh, Minnesota right now. We're trying to uh, get a pod in before Jeff's headlining weekend. He's filming a special. Uh, Jeff, do you uh, have anything to say about how you're feeling before filming this? I just, my voice isn't doing great. I'm trying to save it. So I'm trying to let these idiots talk. And I really <laughs> am regretting that. I'm regretting giving Alex the control, but I'm going to give it back to him because I believe in him. I what's think he's going to do a good job. What's this podcast called? You're a smart, cool guy. And yeah. I agree with you. Podcast. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff said This before, is the podcast where it's about hanging out with smart guys that you agree with. Yeah. Yes. Like like minded. Yas. Mm-hmm. Yas Queen. That was pretty good, Tommy. <laughs> that was pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, start. Are you gonna be rating our performances throughout <laughs> the podcast? <laughs> I think so. I, I do think watch so. the clips. I like the clips a lot. Um oh, I'm God really damn. I'm really <laughs> Wait, it's just for, Okay. Yeah. Well no, I'm blown away by um like your lack of just Geographic knowledge. Oh, I know nothing. It's insane. You I went. To, you went to college, man. Uh huh. Didn't you go to Notre Dame? <laughs> uh huh. That's a, good, a, that's a, a good one. That's a very nice school. In Boston College, go Eags. <laughs> yeah. But you were there for basketball, so how exactly. much? How much were you learning about geography? You know. Right. The, the professors didn't care what I knew. Or the only what I geography did. The ge- you need to know is the three point of line. the court. Thank yes. You. And you don't shoot from there. Yeah. Too tall to shoot from the three point. What would you consider? The capital of the basketball court. I know you guys talk about capitals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then also, what's the Israel? Of the bat? Is that is that yeah. the paint? Mm-hmm. You know, is that the box? Would you feel more like Palestine or Israel when you played teams? Yeah, what's the capital <laughs> of the basketball court? And then what's the Israel of the basketball? And court? also, tell us about Israel and Palestine. And what is your yeah? What is your stance on? Yeah, what's what your is, what's your stance? What's going on in Israel and Palestine? <laughs> They have it's a it's a religious <laughs> conflict. It's a religious conflict for sure. No <laughs> questions. Con- no questions. It's a religious <laughs> conflict. <laughs> what do you mean no questions? No, it's no questions. You're, it's a no religious. further questions. Who? You have you have no questions. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I need yeah. to know. Wait, didn't you wait? Did you say I, I, I think you just, just want us to stop asking questions, so you're just like no question. No, I can't. Wait, you said Israel Palestine? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. All I know, here's all I know. My Jewish friends are into Israel. Right. Mm-hmm. My peop- the people who are who are not Jewish. My, my people. My non Jewish. <laughs> You're Palestinian, right? The people who <laughs> uh, I am. Yeah. P- go, <laughs> go, go, Alex go, is go a peas. Palestinian go you peas. Love me, Alex. Go peas. Remember when I dated that Palestinian girl and you called her a muzzy all the time? <laughs> 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 but they also named a dating service for Muslims Muzzy. Yeah. The, Tommy yeah. told me that. So Drago is ahead mm-hmm. of his the time. Subway mm-hmm. ad. Yeah, it's a subway ad. I'm sorry, they got man. their own dating app now, <laughs> Muzzy. Yeah, that's, it's that called, seems it's wrong. Called like the, I was on the subway, and it's oh my god, I want to get. Are you gonna say what Jeff just said? No, it's called <laughs> Muzzy dot com or something. Muzzy dot com. It's Muzzy dot com. And then what was the what was their yeah. slogan? 
I don't remember, but I tried to oh, join, and they made right. me say they made me say there's only one God, and, all, and Muhammad no, is his only <laughs> prophet. <laughs> no, did their slogan really was something. No, I did try like, to join. <laughs> uh, I don't have my phone. I left it in the other room. Drago's looking it up. We got him on the case. Drago, Drago on the ones and twos. <laughs> So what are you guys up? It's called Muzz, M-U-Z-Z. <laughs> Muzz. <laughs> That's kind of worse. Is it Muzz.com? Muzz. It, it says the solution to dating. <laughs> the final solution to dating. <laughs> <laughs> the final solution to dating. I'm trying to get some of that Muzz fuzz. You know, you know what I'm all saying? these Jews on all the other apps. We need our own app. where Muslims meet right now. Mm-hmm. Huh. Where Muslims meet. That, that makes sense. It's the Mecca of dating. Oh, <laughs> that's a better. Yeah. That's a great slogan. For well, if they would hire me, you I feel would, like you would be great in adver- advertisement, man. Mm-hmm. That seems like it would be like a. They wouldn't like that, you know, the little Charlie Abdo action. If you start making jokes about the Mecca mm-hmm. and stuff like We're that, we're not making a joke. If I worked, for, if, I joke, worked just, yeah. if, if I worked for them, if I worked for the dating but site, Mecca I'd be like, is Mecca. Am I right? Yeah, but this is this the state is a, of mind. Mm. Uh, what's it called? Where you're like, this is like it's a simile. Mm-hmm. You Simulate. have to go on yeah. dates facing Mecca. <laughs> <laughs> you have to face eastward. Call New York the basketball Mecca. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh. Do you agree with that? What, what do, do you think th- the basketball yeah. Mecca? You should get yeah. on the. Yeah. yeah. Do you think I do think I, uh, it's DC. It's okay. DC. The, the basketball oh, really? Mecca. They, they have the best uh, grassroots. Do you, like, do you, do you uh, know where I think the basketball Mecca <laughs> is? My backyard growing up. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I bet Tommy could work you, Drago. There's no way. I bet Dude, Tommy he played, I could played work high school. You. He played college. Yeah, but he he's heard it. D- he's just no. He's just trying to. He hurt his I, shoulder though. I do talk shit to. I, I will like just like like DM Alex and be like, I would fuck you up in basketball. <laughs> it's true. It's true. But there's Tommy but there's no but that. there's absolutely no way, Dude. You're I, literally six foot two. I'm six feet tall. He's 6'6". Six, six. I know. Yeah. It's fun to call him 6'2", though. That is funny. Okay, that's like a slur to him. I know. To, to call six a guy who's 6'6", 6'2". I was like... <laughs> no. Yeah. You're double like, am I 6'2"? Damn, you're 6'6"? Damn. You're, you're six, six? Mm-hmm. Damn. You're a foot taller than me, dude. That's fucking epic, bro. Yeah, you're a foot epic, taller bro. than me and Grant put together. Yeah, you're a foot and an inch taller than Ryan. You're a foot taller you're a foot than and me. Two inches taller. Was that a part of doing the podcast? You're like, it, maybe if we do it together, we can. It'll just feel. Yeah, like, we'll, like, we'll be it's strong it's, enough it'll to yeah. take on it'll be a full pod. Yeah. Like, it's, Ultron, you'll yeah. make a six foot six man <laughs> a, a podcasting. <laughs> We're two and a half men. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Tom, and, yeah, and Tommy, the little shrimp boy over there. Shrimp boy? <laughs> little shrimp and he's boy. the funny. Man. I am so much stronger than you. Don't oh, th- for sure. Don't, I'm the weakest man of all time. Don't call me a shrimp boy. I beat you in arm wrestling eight times in a row at the bar He in did Fargo. beat me in a lot of arm wrestling. Remember we woke up the next <laughs> morning and we were like, same we were... thing to bring up. <laughs> that was the wildest <laughs> night of my life. Me and Tommy had the wildest night of my life in yeah, Fargo, you, North you, Dakota. You almost got pussy. Or you did. I didn't. We did not end up hooking up. Oh, yeah. I, she said, you're being weird. And then I just... Fell asleep next to her with my shoes on. I've had on. that happen before. Yeah, I don't know what it was. I think I was just making weird jokes. You were doing bits. I was doing bits. Oh, okay. Is the doors open? I think. I don't or, think it is. I think it's locked. Okay, Drago's taking a little break. Honestly, it's gonna run smooth as shit. Now. One time, I almost hooked up with a chick, and then we were like in her bed. Just one time, and we were making out, and then I was like doing bits, and she was like, "You know, you haven't stopped trying to be funny all night." Yeah. And uh. We didn't and have sex. Succe- stop succeeding either. Yeah, I was like, I've, <laughs> okay. I've kind of been in the. Po- I'm here. You know what I mean? And then, yeah, we didn't hook up, and I I laid on her bedroom floor, and I remember just staring at the ceiling and thinking about what a mean thing that was. You were laying her on her say. bedroom floor. Yeah, because I didn't want to sleep in the no, same bed as her. You slept oh, on you the. Were, floor. I was mad. Well, after you were she insulted. Said that. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, well, I don't want to have sex with you now if you don't think I'm funny. I couldn't leave this girl's apartment in Fargo because they don't have Ubers. Yeah. Mm. There's no way to get to the hotel. I had to wait till morning. Got a little dark. It was a little dark. Mm-hmm. I had to stay there. Did just you, did quietly. you sleep? No. No. By the way, we, we, were, we were a little banged up. We were up lit that. up. I was so drunk I couldn't sleep. Did you go to Dempsey's? Yeah, we went to Dempsey's and we did. I mean, we're gonna do the same. I mean, Tommy can drink. Yeah, I'll yeah, say I'm, this. I'm an insane. For being a little shrimp boy, I mean, the man can put him away. Yeah, dude, and I'm, that was I'm relationship, Irish, Tommy. You too. had like 15 double whiskey cokes. 
<laughs> I'm not even joking. Dude, it wasn't you were like 15. you were dancing in a way that I haven't seen someone dance in a long time. He was doing I, the Gumby. I, I've seen him do the dance. You were doing like barnyard dancing with these people. <laughs> it was wild. You, how how much fun were you having? I was having a bla- I was dancing. I, I was got like you to dance. Swinging this girl around. I got you to I, dance with that girl. Yeah, I don't I don't remember her name, but I I mm-hmm. believe it. Yeah. And then I was dancing with a girl who was bald, and I was and my girlfriend at the time who That's right. was bald. I was like. I was like, Tommy found... I, I whispered found to Jeff, I was like, I gotta type, dude. What <laughs> you found but, the one bald hipster girl in and Fargo. Fargo <laughs> and, and we were hitting it off. You were. I of course you I were. found the one lesbian woman, <laughs> and I'm like, this is my queen. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you... The, Fargo rips, though. We yeah, were playing Blackjack in the bars, yep. Pig Wheel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm excited to lose all my money I make this weekend. Dude, it's such a stupid at, town. At it's table. awesome. It's so wild It's an west. incredible town. Do you Dude, know I noticed last time I was there, I think Fargo is like actually more diverse than Minneapolis. It's more fun than Minneapolis. They're yeah. downtown rules. They're like their bar scene. I don't know. Yeah. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm not even kidding. That was actually, uh, I really, I think this is a good time to bring this up. Uh, a, a question for the pod that I think I want to ask all you guys. Yeah, okay. That's actually, I think it's applicable. A uh, very good question from Joe VR. Uh, what is it? What is a Joe grit? virtual reality? Joe. Yes. Shout out. Is there a he sent that in <laughs> from an Oculus Rift? Me trying riff. to fuck Joe VR. Is there a Mrs. Virtual Reality? <laughs> I can ask. <laughs> you think that's short for VCR or is that just uh, they VR? They changed it when the technology changed. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did. I'm Joe VR. <laughs> I'm Joe VCR. Come down to my fuck. Hey, I'm Joe VCR. All right, I'm sorry, man. No, this that, is called that, character work. No, I, gotta, I, gotta <laughs> wait for the, I gotta wait for the heat to die yeah. down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what What is a great comedy city, but a terrible, uh, but terrible to stay in, but terrible to like live in? Here, baby, right here, <sighs> Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Yeah, uh, I think Minneapolis is a great place to live. Yeah, yeah. it's fine. We it's don't a, have any public transit. Like, yeah, we, we've all done like the road a good amount. I feel like yeah. there's, I feel like there's places where like, damn, those those crowds are great, but like, yeah. I would never. It's just tough because of the winter, but I, I grew up here, and it's Madison it's might be a town like that. I don't know if I'd want to live in Madison. I would live in Madison. Oh, live in Madison. Yeah, would you? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. It's such a college Madison. town, though. Yeah. yeah, but that. But, yeah, Madison but. is f- insane, dude. I I did. Ho- I went to the Halloween thing there when I was like nineteen. Oh yeah. It, it is, it, that is a town full of psychos. Like I like to drink. But I was like staying in a house, and these girls were like waking me and my friend up at six in the morning, and they're like, "Do shots with us, bitch," <laughs> and we're like, "No." And if you don't, you're a bitch. And you they can't, were calling got- us like slurs. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Calling us homophobic <laughs> slurs. You know the one. <laughs> Tommy, were, Tommy, these were by the white way, girls screaming at my face at six in the morning. Tommy's saying this like they me. were right to do this. Yeah, you like this doesn't and, happen and, in every other city that I, Tommy goes and to. And I was hung over <laughs> and they were putting Svetka right in my fucking face. Yeah, Tommy, I'm sure it's a word you've never been called before. Ha ha ha. Oh, that was hilarious. I thought it was pretty funny. Was that is that was that party called Mifflin, that Halloween party? No, Is that's that, that's in the spring. It's dude, a similar idea. I, I fucking blacked out big time at Mifflin. Mifflin one time. was fun. Yeah, yeah, I used to do a thing where I'd go into everyone's house and steal all their beer and then re- <laughs> redistribute it on the street like dude. Robin Hood. Yes, it was fun. The socialist, very illegal, and I can't believe I didn't get my ass beat, but it was fun. We we did we had a fun time in Gillette, Wyoming. That would be a horrible place to live. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, that it's called, it's called Gillette. Insane. Yeah, yeah. The best how, a man can get. How are the you, and the Wyoming. crowds? Were, how big was the room? Was it, it was like, like sold room? out? It was probably like what 110, 120 people in there. Yeah, 100. and you were like just had a blast, but you were just like well, okay, they were ready. hammered, just like miners. So they're like oh so my god for miners. entertainment. Wow. At one point, I uh, I'm like on stage, like straight up showing up to the show dirty. Yeah. Like from the mines, <laughs> they were still mad about well, they, Obama. They, they, this they, is like twenty eighteen. Like shit still, on them. These were like, and, the, and I was talking to, a, I think I was 21, 22, 21. Yeah, yeah. I was talking to a guy who was like also twenty one, and he looked like he was forty two. <laughs> like Smeagol, yeah. I love, I love when you go west. <laughs> he was just like, he was just like, he was just like, hey man, we're the same age. I was like, ah! <laughs> I love when you go west. You basically go back in time to like, damn, dude, you guys are still living it like does this feel out like here. It's, that town did feel like it was like stuck in the 1980s. Yeah, but what are they mining? 
Uh, Bitcoin. <laughs> oh, I think, this is, I think this is probably a little. I'm on Bitcoin miners. <laughs> Cincinnati, I really liked playing there, but I, I did not like the. Uh, yeah. I, I don't think I would live in I Cincinnati. I was going to go bananas. Yeah. Or? Yeah. yeah. I was going to say like Indianapolis, maybe. That's Ooh, yeah, Indianapolis is trash. But my good. girlfriend's from there and it's trash. <laughs> it's, it's good comedy, though. You know, it's good for right? comedy. Yeah. Because pe- trash towns, they need entertainment. Yeah. That's why it's good. Uh-huh. Gillette, Wyoming. Aren't you from Wyoming, Ryan? I'm from Cheyenne, which is a bigger town in Wyoming. That's the biggest town in Wyoming, mm-hmm. and it's smaller than the suburbs of the yep. Twin Cities. Oh, it's, it's like 60,000, I think. It's like haunting looking. It's, People it's sad. People to Cheyenne like I came here to make. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but it's people are leaving. Nobody, nobody's moving to Wyoming. Well, I, I came here to come true, out of the closet. But what are people and doing in Wyoming? <laughs> Outdoorsy stuff. That's There's it. no industry. No, isn't it? Is there oil? <laughs> no, I think it's like uranium and shit. I yeah. don't know. They have fuck. like nuclear silos and stuff. Yeah. Are people like just conservative as fuck yeah. there? It's just like yeah. my parents live in Montana right now too, so it's just like the same vibe. I bet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are kind of crazy shows. Yeah, they were insane. Yeah, I was what are the stage? crowds like? Are they just they want to hear wild really shit? Really rowdy, but they're like good. They're kind of good. Like they're I was on stage, good. you just gotta wrangle them in. I was on stage and I'm like, I'm like, can you guys still say retarded here? Like, it, is that the vibe? And like a group of guys like started stood up they and were like, yeah! from, they got it from the back. And they no no, I was in the back because I was hosting. I was hosting, and there's a group of guys in the back. They stand up. Yell, and then this group of women up front went, No, <laughs> yeah, it's like, it was like one group of women, and then a sea of men that were like, Yeah, say and, it. <laughs> yeah, dude. And I just saw these two tables rise. <laughs> I bet these towns are all men, too. Mining Almost towns, so, they're yeah. all just looking for women, all men, and like women that are like straight from the 1940s, you know what I mean? They're uh-huh. just like, All I've ever aspired for is to. Push kids out yeah. of my pussy. Just wide <laughs> set. That's it. Just wide set hips. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Just baking and birthing. That's those are my two objectives. Dude, the, he- <laughs> the headliner we were working with is oh Bob De- Bob Damaris. Yeah, the craziest man did in you, comedy. Did you ever play uh, Bob's Comedy Bunker? I feel like you probably were. It's the bunker oh, Hitler shot Bob himself Damaris? in. Uh-huh. The yeah. Bob's Comedy Bunker in <laughs> Fridley, Minnesota. No, right? in uh, Arden Hills. Arden Hills, Bob's yes. world famous. Yep. Yes, and it was in the basement of a trailer park. Yep. Yeah, and it looks. Yeah. It's that was the worst show I've ever done. Yeah. I forgot about that. Ryan I kind of blocked banned. that out. I got banned. Ryan got banned. Can I tell? Do you yeah, I lo- I lo- yeah, yeah this was banned? this was incredible. Well, okay, hold this on. This was like so the night we we all spirit there's bonded. An audience I think, of like honestly. four people, right? <laughs> and material, they're like they're also not, the the room is kind of nice. Yeah. If, yeah. if they yeah. comedy like, bunker, like, it would be cool if they ran spatially, it. it if he got, can't if happen. it wasn't in the basement of a VFW in a trailer park, mm-hmm. they it have could, um, it could exist. So I'm like, I'm trying to do material that's like not working. They don't want to hear material, so I start riffing because he has all this shit on stage. He's got like trophies. It's like world's worst comedy club. <laughs> And then a globe, and I pick the globe up, and I spin it, and I go, you guys could be anywhere in the world, but you're here at Bob's world-famous <laughs> comedy bunker. Yeah. And but that's not why you got banned. No. So Bob, the guy who owns it, is like, is he a Vietnam vet? No, but he, he has that vibe. He's, he's like, like one of those guys. Who was on the, I was on the road with him, and he told me oh, yeah. that he's, he's beaten up 200 and... Seven guys. Well, he, he said he said he's he's been in two hundred seven fights and yeah, he's won them all. And then we were like, "How did you get in so many fights?" And he's like, "He's like, I used to be a military a police officer." Yeah. And so we're like, "Wait, so beating. anytime you arrested people, do you did you consider that a fight?" And he was like, "Yes." <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, no. Dude, so that's he's not a fight. this dude's like a crazy like yeah. fat mustache boomer yeah. dude, who only he, wears Hawaiian shirts. He's also one of those shirts. guys where he's like, "Yeah, I'm sober," and then like. At, by the end of the night, he's just like passed out at the bar. Yeah, you know? he You're talked like, about being what the sober. Fuck the yeah. whole car ride, he's like, you know, and I'm not gonna party with you guys. You know, I've been sober for, a, you know, and we're like, oh, okay, cool. Dude, like, he was so hammered the second night. He's going up, and Tommy goes before him. He was like doing Tommy's set. <laughs> like, yeah, he night. starts doing yeah. my act because I did good. Me and Tommy and both he's, crushed. And he's bombing, yeah. and he's like, oh, you guys want to hear about this? Huh? Yeah. And he just starts doing my act, and, and I was it's like, it's doing well too. Yes. Like, yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, in the back, like, come on! <laughs> oh my god! And you had I already, love that. you had already done. They had already set. seen that joke. <laughs> yeah, I was hosting. Yeah, dude, he picks us up at like five in the morning to go to fucking Wyoming. So you drive from Minneapolis yeah. to Wyoming. Ryan He's doing there. like ninety on black ice the entire way. <laughs> He's doing ninety on yeah. not black guys, black ice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to set the record straight. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, 
Thank you. That yeah, was, so well, that was so necessary. Well, so it just sounded confused. like you said black guys, and mm -hmm. it's just black guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. He gets mm -hmm. cut off from this. This car cuts him off, and he goes, "It's like six in the morning." And he's like, "Fucking Italians!" And I'm like, aren't "He's like you? old school racist." I'm like, aren't, middle of yeah. South I'm like, Dakota. I'm like, "Aren't you Italian? Like, what are you?" Yeah, Damaris. <laughs> How do you know they're Italian? Yeah, and I'm like, "Why are you being racist? Why are you being yeah self hating Italian?" Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, Jeez, that's wild, man. Anyways, Ryan got banned because he's from on his club. Yeah, at, he, at the bunker. is that still open? I don't know. <sighs> but we got ripped off. We they one time I featured what, there. Yeah. One time I featured there, and the headliner was just like, "Yeah, there's no pay for the feature." <laughs> like after the weekend, it's like, they didn't tell you till the end. <laughs> yeah, I think I got like forty bucks or something oh out God. of the headliner pay, which Jesus. was probably eighty bucks. But yeah, Ryan, tell him how do you get banned? Yeah, well, tell him what you I'm said. I'm on stage and I'm like riffing around, right? And Bob like wants to come up after. I'm co-headlining with Henry Fugit, okay. but he wants to go after me before Henry, right? So like I'm on stage, I see Bob. He's got to get a set in. Yeah, it's like mm -hmm. to the, the he's bunker. Like, he's got to work out. He's got to work out. And it's out. his bunker. You know, he owns it. But I go, Bob, how much money would I have to pay you to suck you off? <laughs> <laughs> For me to suck your yeah. dick. And so the audience, that gets a pop from the audience. And then apparently Bob is like he storms off stage, just like, I hate this open mic bullshit. <laughs> and leaves. Like, then that's the guy who owns it. He's going to pay us. Storms, and he was, yeah. was going right. to do a guest spot after the headliner. Yeah. <laughs> storms right past me. And I'm like, He's mad. <laughs> because you said, how much money would you pay to how suck How much my money do I have to pay you, you for me to suck you? you <laughs> yeah, the joke's on me there. Because yeah. you're paying him. But then, so then, like, <laughs> he leaves, and, like, three days later, I text him, and I'm like, hey, Bob, thanks for the weekend. We all had a great time. The usual lies. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to do it again. And then he waits, like, a week to respond. And it's, like, one of those where it's, like, a really long message with a lot of, like, oh, three God. dots, you know? Where he's just, like, I was very disappointed in what you did. Not just, like, for what you did to me and my room, but what you did for the art of stand-up comedy. And it was, like, disrespectful. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm, like, banned from there. Unless I apologized to him. He said he wanted an apology, no, dude, and then I could come back. And I was like, I'm not apologizing. Well, this you should. Funny. Being banned That's what... from that hellhole is awesome. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's like... That's the coolest thing. <laughs> it's reverse Acme. Wait, yeah, what's the like word? People, be, it's not even the worst club in the Twin Cities, though. No, it House is. House of Comedy. <laughs> House of Comedy pays. Maybe we shouldn't they talk do. about it, but... I was just at House of Comedy. I, I, I get blast, depressed dude. every... We've, we've talked about it a lot on we our podcast. I think we said it on the last podcast. It's like you want to just jump off the no. fucking... It's into the, the rotunda. Key. Here's the key so House Comedy. Sad. You be stupid. You got to be stupid and confident. And you'll crush, like, every set. Listeners might not know House of Comedy is in the Mall of America. Yeah. It's on the fourth uh -huh. floor next to the Hooters and the Bubblegum Shrimp. Mm -hmm. Yes. Dude, I go... It, oh People go to Hooters I get and then Bubblegum Shrimp mm -hmm. and then House of they Comedy. Do that, they the do shows. that video beforehand to oh, Basket yeah. Case by yeah. Green Day that shows a camera going through the mall. Yep. And it shows, like, Chris Farley movies. And Dude, it's like, he yeah. doesn't do stand-up. They play, like, clips from The Hangover and yeah, stuff. It's like, like, oh, that's there's, like, a really, really quick do. still really that's, do. like, rest in peace, Louis Anderson. And uh -huh. then, like, the Vikings spiking football, <laughs> you know? Like, it's just, like, <laughs> everything <laughs> and Minnesota. And Sandstorm is playing. Angry. Yeah. They play. Makes me angry. That video yeah. makes me angry. You know what? You know what? Every single time I get, watch that you, video, I go... When I had the worst shows I've ever had there. Yeah. When you do... when you when You got to be dumb there, Jeff. Were you headlining there? I did once, but then I featured for this YouTube guy, and it was the worst five shows of my life. He yeah. sold out was that every a special show. Event? He had special sold out. That was, those he didn't tough. shake my hand the whole weekend. Yeah. <laughs> and his closer was he'd bring up a woman and take off his shirt and grind on her to a Nar Kelly song. Whoa. Wow. What year what, is this? Yeah. This is like 2018, 2019. Wow. I won't also, say his name, but he's yeah. very famous. Really? He's very a very... KW, those are his initials. Cat Williams. No, it's <laughs> not. I wish Cat Williams is a legend. <laughs> Describing Cat Williams as a YouTuber. No, he's a <laughs> well, I see him on YouTube all the time. I watch his. Yeah. He's yeah. like some I vlog watch, guy. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> You get like PTSD from the the warm up video at House of Comedy. The after only you time do a I get mad there. is when the audience is laughing at like the movie clips that they show. Yeah. Like it's like an a. Uh, uh, They'll show like a scene from Waterboy, you or, know, and, like Austin Powers and stuff. Yeah. It's it's really yeah. People if people, it's people laugh at Groovy Baby, I'm like, what I fuck did? you. I, I, I used, <laughs> remember I used to host the open mic at Acadia. I think you did one, or whatever. One time I uh, it was on Tuesdays and I go and our sh the mics at like 9 p.m. and then the House of Comedy mics at like 7 p.m. So I go to House of Comedy and I film the intro on my phone, do a set, and then I put it on my laptop. 
And then I start out the Acadia show with the, <laughs> through my That's phone funny. on my laptop, and I go, "All right, guys, this is supposed to get everybody in the mood to laugh." And I like had the mic like right on the speaker, and it sounded like all fucked up. Mm-hmm. And I was like, "That's so funny." I think we're ready. At that like grimy coffee shop. Yeah, and everyone. Mic. Yeah, and then like yeah. the six people who were like not comedians were like, "What the fuck is going yeah. on?" And Those I'm are the like, best open mics is when it's mostly people tough. who are angry that there's an open that mic That one happening. was tough. That's yeah. the place I saw a mouse running across the floor while I was eating there. It was awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I fucking love that he shit. He was doing a set. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. mouse, yeah. did the stage car time. run into that place? A, a yeah. bus. Mm-hmm. A city <laughs> bus. <laughs> fully <laughs> through yeah. the building. And then the drive. Do you know the history behind the driver? No. He, he was an ex-comedian, and he was just was like, I'm going to destroy this place. It's like seven years after really that. really was an ex-comedian? No, I just, I'm just saying Tommy, stuff. Tommy, come on, that man. Was really that was like a really good Thanks, that, was, that was a good one. Thank Alex, you, you got to talk more. Let's, 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 yeah, yeah, you got Alex back in the mix. Alex, uh, no, yeah, Hell, yeah, Hell we, yeah, you guys were waxing poetic on Minneapolis and everything. I'm, that's fine. It's I, a good I, place. I, I, I don't want to interrupt, you know? Yeah. You were the band? You should have been a couple times. Uh, you know, we do, we, we make our decisions here and there. Have you ever asked an owner how much money you'd have to give them to suck their cock? No, I honestly do. I'm such a bitch around like the staff. Have you burned any bridges? (laughs) Bring them up. That like don't matter. Air it out. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Cause you're really, you're just, you're really nice. Except when you're talking about my fucking stupid shoes. Your your shoes suck. (laughs) Should we we put those on these shoes? Look at that. If you you guys might be able to zoom in, I guess, yeah, if you're listening, you can't see. He's got the Salomon, uh, Salomon. The Salamander. Cross Fours. Gore Tex. They're Gore Tex. Yeah, they're like hiking shoes. What's that? These are from Planet Gore Tex. (laughs) That you weirdly paid $100 for. That's probably on sale. They're probably $140. You can find these uh, at the bottom of a lake somewhere. (laughs) Yeah. Or in a storage bin. These are the shoes that Gabby Petito was killed in. Cool shoes are out. Mm -hmm. Stupid shoes are in. Mm -hmm. Get with it. Tommy found these shoes while he was fishing. This is what the You're an Idiot <laughs> podcast is all about. There are those shoes that I see a lot of people wearing in New York that look like big, dumb spaceships. You know what I'm talking about? Those massive, like, boat shoes. Yeah, those are too much. What they, are those? You have to be, like, a model. They look like, are like aliens with Down syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the shoes look like. Are those the ones I that would are love to watch that movie. Aliens with Next Down time. syndrome. If, if we were, co- if we were comedy Down writers in 1998, we would... Make a fucking box office killing with aliens with Down the syndrome. aliens land and they're all mentally challenged. Yeah. <laughs> like aliens, like you know, smart aliens, drop off like they're Down syndrome, <laughs> like ch- children. Yeah. <laughs> they look just like Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> they just have chocolate, chocolate on their face. Earth is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Humans are way take smart. us, take us to your candy. <laughs> Earth is just the dumpster they dump their babies in. Yeah. Yeah, they have like a Spartan society. Yeah. Tell them your sketch. Oh, okay. So oh, this is a yes. prank, this is a prank yes. show. Prank Brad's show. got an idea. This is a prank show that could only take place in like 2004. So a uh, guy goes in for like serious surgery, right? Like he needs like heart surgery, eye surgery, something like that. He's like in the gown. The nurses and doctors are coming out. They're like, hey, surgeon, he's a good surgeon. He's like one of the best. He teaches other people how to do it. Never had a bad one. He's going to come out and just kind of walk you through how the surgery is going to go. And so the guy comes out. Uh, he has Down syndrome, <laughs> chocolate all over his face. Fully then, scrubbed in. Yeah, right, he's for got the gloves on. And then he's explaining how, you know, the procedure's going to go. And then if the guy acts nervous, he gets canceled. And the show is if called... If you go, hey, I don't want him to yeah. be my surgeon. The, and the show is called... <laughs> get fired from your Dude, job. Dude, if he even has a weird look on his <laughs> face. The show uh, you have to fully accept him as your doctor. Yeah. That's, that's and if you don't, <laughs> if, you don't. If, if the show is called, do you think you're smarter than a doctor? <laughs> Wow. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. That's very, very good. Dude, we got to go to Hollywood, man. Pitch mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. We got to go back in <laughs> Shark time. Who Tommy's going to pick it up, you think? Huh? MTV. MTV in 2004. What if the doctor's yeah. like, we're going to give you a lobotomy. Don't worry. I got one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, don't worry. What um? <laughs> what jobs? Do I wasn't you, gonna do the voice. What jobs do you think, Alex? What jobs do you think uh, people with Down syndrome should not be allowed to do? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah. I can't answer that. Do you think they should be able to be pilots? <laughs> yeah. Okay. What about the new Top Gun? But it's all <laughs> unless you're Down unless, syndrome. Unless, unless, unless you're colorblind, you can't do it if they're mm. color, if they're if they have Down syndrome. Yeah, if they're, they're not co- racist and they're colorblind, yeah. you can't do. Okay. 
Yeah. You can't fly planes if you're colorblind. Mm-hmm. Really? It's a Do true you fact. think a really? Down syndrome pilot? True there's fact. no colors in the sky. <clears throat> Blue. Uh, no, it's yeah, all, there's it's all one white up there. It's all white look. when you get up there. It's, it's all, all black and white. So black. I, I'm like colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's black and white. Every, anyway, it's all around the world. So why, is, why does it fucking matter? It's all black. <laughs> no, right. seriously though, that's I'm. I think I'm raising a, you know, decent question. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, that's but yeah, if you have Down syndrome, you could probably <laughs> you figure that out. I figure. You yeah. know, How would you <laughs> feel if you're on a plane and the pilot comes out and he has Down syndrome? <laughs> He makes is the, he the pilot or the co-pilot? He both. He he's, he's doing both. He's, he, he's he on makes, double duty because he makes the announcement. The like, that doesn't sound like a normal <laughs> cat. Yeah. And they go and he goes, you Alex would never let this fly if we were doing if we were doing our <laughs> What do you mean? You would not. This is not a chat <laughs> I like this is great. Jeff would want to move from this. So <laughs> we're, 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 we'll, we'll move from. I think this I, is a great topic. We're just <laughs> asking, <laughs> Ryan's just asking we questions. Would move off this so quickly. These are just the things I think about. Well, I think it's a valid point. Yeah, it's. If, if we were, if we, we were move forward in this world, we gotta think what jobs can everyone have, you know. Mm-hmm. And I, I think if we were on Ryan's show right now, we all wouldn't get canceled, okay? Because we're what, we're what supporting. What kind of jobs do you think like a little shrimp boy can have? That's a good question. And honestly, I'm. Jobs do you want? Dude, jobs do you want? It's, okay, I've actually been thinking about this a lot. I'm really trying to get out of the service industry, but I'm trying to become a millionaire. So yeah. I don't. I so I need oh, to tell get, him about your idea to to raise a million dollars. And at the the my, saltine the saltine. Can we stay away from Down syndrome for like a little bit? Absolutely, yeah. man. I I would never even. I I'm thought sorry. it was funny. I thought it was. T- I didn't think it was that offensive, honestly. I'm sorry, Tommy made me. No, cut. cut I, the, think <laughs> I think it was fun. I think it was fun. Cutting that out. Um, I have an, a, a business idea. Well, okay. I want to ask you guys a question first. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, no not, nothing like that, Alex. You said fuck. Um, no. How many okay. saltine crackers do you think you could eat in 60 seconds? Real question. I've tried this. How many did you get? I think I got like two. Yeah. How many think you... Two? Mm-hmm. Sounds... No water. No water. Jeff thinks he's so powerful. Sa- right <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, sounds like you could... I could do four. You would get crushed by the I know. <laughs> four, four saltine crackers in 60 seconds? That sounds reasonable. Sounds like I could eat that much. Sure, you're you're perfectly you're valid for thinking that way. It is impossible to eat more than two. So here's my plan. Here's my uh uh my little grift. I go to Washington Square Park. I set up a little booth. I go how many how many with a sign. How many crackers do you think you can eat in sixty seconds? And then every guy who comes up to my booth, I go, listen, man, I'll pay you ten bucks if you eat more than three. If you eat more than three, or, or and then if you don't, you pay me ten bucks. And then every guy is just going to be like, I'll do that fucking deal. But don't, don't a lot of people know that this is not... Nobody um, knows. I did. I, I asked everybody at my work and every guy... Well, you know because I feel like... It, it got passed around the internet, right? Not, I don't know. I feel like like I, I did this a lot like at sleepovers with like my basketball buddies. You know what I mean? You think this is a basketball thing? It's a theory because you know about <laughs> the it. The saltines. I don't know. Did you, I'm it's just, ho- only, only only real hoopers know. Only real, <laughs> only real hoopers know about this challenge. <laughs> So, I just want to reiterate. But every guy th- is going to think they can eat more than three. They won't be able to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, I'll make a no, killing. No, it's true. The, the, a million dollars. I do, yeah. I every, drunk, Tommy's plan every drunk to make guy a million going through Washington Park <laughs> is going to be like, I'll eat fucking seven. There is a lot. There is like, a show that can won't. be that have, like revolved around like like men thinking they can do things. Do, that, just that, do that, things. That, that, that's just the out of the human. Also, okay. I, might, I might get right. some cameras yeah. out. I might film it. Maybe get a little TikTok account. Yeah. How is your TikTok doing? Terrible. Me too. I it's, don't really post on there anymore. I'm kind of, I've just I've been so been bad tweeting a lot. Your tweets are great, man. I, Thanks, buddy. I Ryan, that. <laughs> yeah, my, my girlfriend said you show up on her timeline all the time. She said she doesn't follow you, but you show oh, up all wow. the time. Well, that's okay. Um, she's like, she's like, I like that, that his stuff's good. She still said. not, yeah, still not going to follow. Twitter, Twitter <laughs> coming to an end then. Well, I know a guy uh, who um, who like works directly under Elon Musk. I and he's like and and he's just like it's gonna be fine. Yeah, I imagine dude, it's way too big yeah, of a he's, platform. It's he's Twitter. Like, he's you know, like, it's like he he exp- he's like an engineer, and he like explained this to me last night, and I did not understand anything he said. But I DM'd him, and I was just like, "What's going on, man?" And he's like, "It's literally gonna be fine." Yeah, yeah, but it's that's just, what you would say if you have. If, a vested interest, you know. If you're a lot working, of said for Trump was not getting uh, elected too. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. 
I guess so. Well, we proved them wrong, didn't uh, we? Uh, I guess we so. did. <laughs> we, we, the, the red wave came <laughs> through in 2016. Uh, uh, Ryan, I wanted to see if you could talk about uh, your your current finances. If you oh be yeah, this is oh, like yeah. a you're an idiot. Can, can we? This yeah, is this good. is good. This is good for you this guys to good. weigh so in on. Here's this is some financial advice. Uh, I took out a seven thousand dollar loan <laughs> for no reason because. I know that I'm not good enough with my money that I'll accumulate seven thousand dollars over time, right? Yeah, you will. I, you will. <laughs> but you can and you will. You have a job. You can but, save money. Yeah. The the interest rate or whatever, like what you got to pay monthly is like a hundred bucks. I'm like, I'm not gonna miss a hundred dollars. So if I take out the seven thousand dollar loan, I'll just have seven thousand dollars that I never would have saved up otherwise. Okay. Right? And then what happened to the money? But you can't spend that money. Yeah, That's you, can, you have to keep the seven thousand dollars in case the interest rate goes up, so you can pay it back right away. How but, so? How much do you end up paying back in the end? Probably a little total. bit more, but it's over like five years, so it like doesn't matter. 8, 000, yeah. Like eight thousand. Like that's how they get you. Yeah. Eight thousand five hundred dollars like, is probably like car, what you pay. That's how the car payment. Here's work. how they actually get you: <laughs> is uh, you end up spending seven thousand dollars on Uber Eats. <laughs> And then uh, you don't have <laughs> that, that loan anymore. And do you know what, do you know what he would Uber yeah, Eats? Yeah. He would yeah. Uber Eats Domino's, which already has a delivery <laughs> yeah, service. Yeah, yeah. The amount of times I've seen this man like, Uber Eats pizza. What can I say? Dude, when I find a good company, I like to support him. This man is Uber him. Eats. He's Uber Eats pepperoni pizza, and it's costing him $80. Yeah. yeah. You, the, 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 you have a car, Ryan. <laughs> well, I wasn't doing Domino's a lot. The Uber Eats surcharge is like an extra It's crazy. It's crazy. That's yeah. how they get you. Well, and then you have seven. <laughs> Thousand dollars. You. you have your you have that seven thousand dollars in your account. You're like, I can afford Uber Eats every once in a while. Did you literally spend seven thousand dollars on Uber? Yeah, I don't have seven thousand dollars anymore. When, uh, how, how long did it take you to spend seven thousand? Say three months. <laughs> You're kidding. Dude. You're kidding. I say between three to five months, probably. Yeah. What's what's your what's your rent out here? Uh, like thirteen hundred. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. It's really that's expensive wrong. for that's Minneapolis. Should not be yeah. Uber Eats. Eh? You can, you well, can I'm not anymore because I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you still have to pay $100 a thing, month. If you, if, if you have the self-discipline to not spend that $7,000 on Which Uber you Eats, don't. it's kind of like you just so you, you just got $7,000. I like how you're still you pitching still this as a good idea. <laughs> it is a good you're, idea. <laughs> Everyone in my life told me it was a bad idea. But you still have to pay off this loan for the next five years. Yeah, $100 at a time. I don't care. <laughs> It's not a big deal. I'm not going to miss that. That's five Uber Eats's a <laughs> yeah. month. Well, not. No, that's like two and a half. Oh, you know, I, get, I don't know where you're ordering you get. from. I mean, but, like, yeah. so uh, what, what are your well, guys' Jeff, thoughts? Jeff, Jeff's kind of hard to talk to about this because the way he, like, he's so, like, frugal with his money. He won't, he'll eat, like, he'll take, jer like, beef jerky in, like, a Ziploc bag and, like, that's his dinner for the night. Like, you, like, does, does I bet that I have the most money you? of anyone here. You like that, that. I love it. Really? I love, I See, don't I be too frugal. Just, like, he's, he, he lives like a cockroach. <laughs> if and someone turns the lights on, he gets under the fridge. <laughs> no, no, seriously, like the way he lives, like shrimp boy is nice. You're, shrimp boy, you're just. If, a little, if Jeff ever does a like a proper, bug. if ever, if Jeff ever does like a proper physical, they're gonna find weird <laughs> shit in his body. Yeah. Like it's his yeah. blood's gonna be. They, yeah. Well, he, he's like a <laughs> seagull. Jeff, he's Jeff, like Jeff, a I, seagull. There's just like a Doritos <laughs> wrapper. Oh yeah, it's gonna be like that scene in Jaws where they cut the shark open. Has like like the beer can ring. Yeah, you swallow it. Yeah, yeah, doctor, he, there's a license plate in there. Yeah, he just looks like a sick bird. <laughs> the doctor, the doctor comes out. He's like, Jeff, I'm sorry to inform you, but we found breast cancer in your testicles. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's like, but I'm, under, I'm but I'm underway, right? I'm underway. <laughs> Dude, Jeff, yeah, but you can see Jeff my raising raise money for his breast cancer and his balls. <laughs> yeah. Save me all that money was for nothing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> breast cancer is one of those when I found Dude, out about that's it. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Yeah. Breast cancer in the balls. Mm -hmm. That's a serious issue. I don't, know, issue. I don't <laughs> know what I did to deserve this. <laughs> I'm in the best uh, shape man. of anyone here. <laughs> you oh, are yeah. you are what they make Slim Jims out of, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, they make it out of human gross guy meat. Yeah. <laughs> human gross guy meat. <laughs> That's what I had. Not dude. your yeah. best work. Uh, uh -oh. Oh, shrimp Thanks. boy. Uh -oh. Um, I was thinking you. We should uh, just take out big loans because the world financials market's gonna crash. So yeah. you will never have to pay it back. Well, that's that's more Jeff, my. That's why Jeff doesn't pay his taxes. Jeff, you, you can go into this. Well, I don't pay taxes. I never will. <laughs> never I don't will think you should say that. I don't think that. you should say that. I, I, don't I like how we're just like leave the Down syndrome thing in. Get cut the tax. <laughs> well, you I get should, in real trouble for that. Yeah, I shouldn't. I, I shouldn't say it. 
the worst I, thing only one time only one time just uh, say you had a down syndrome guy doing your taxes <laughs> the whole time <laughs> i tried to give him a shot <laughs> yeah he, he's like all right we have a big budget on candy this <laughs> We're, we have a lot of <laughs> okay. Drago's like watch it. <laughs> oh, watch I'm it. I'm sorry. Uh, Drago redirect. Redirect. Uh, well, that's what our podcast is all about. It's we we apologize. Well, it's I'm so, it's a, I'm yes, so sorry for getting the, the name of it up top. I'm, I've really oh, fucked up. Yeah, that's been, been, that's been burning me real yeah. bad. It's no, not a good name. No, has it? I has swear it? to God. Yeah, oh, it wasn't. Really? Oh, it dude, wasn't. It was not meant to be like a like a dick thing up top. I swear to God. I literally forgot. Dude, I know. You're you're a sweetheart. You're just you just. I'm st- I'm very stupid. I'm I don't very, think, very but you're stupid. not though. You just, I just, you just like, don't. Like, it seems like you just don't care about this last night. I like NBA League Pass. That's huh? all I do. I just watch NBA League. You're not stupid. You refuse to learn. <laughs> yeah, because you're like just worse. Yeah, you're worse than getting no, done. Your comedy is Have really you, like. Like I watch you on stage and I'm like, that's a great joke. That is very cl- a smart guy would come up with that. Oh, thank you, man. That is very fun and clever. And then you're like, I don't know where China is. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like watching these clips on Instagram, and I'm like, is he like doing a bit? I'm like, <laughs> Dude, most of the time, it's really he, he, Jeff. Jeff, most of the Jeff, time I don't know Jeff stumps me a lot. <laughs> do you guys? Are you gonna do a question on this episode? Do you have one? Uh, do you want to do? Yeah, a, let's, let's, what? Wait, okay. Wait, wait. I, I want to do one more thing from, from a listener thing. Yeah. I just want to do real quick. Aaron Noel wants to give Conroll. Her friend Conroll, a shout out. Uh, he's a listener of the pod. He got engaged last week. Wants to do a shout out, and I want to do. I want to answer Conroll's question real quick because he sent in a question this week. First off, congratulations on the engagement, Conroll. Uh, also, he's Are you a question. saying Conroll. Conroll. That's his, that's his, uh, yeah. Okay. Seven, yeah. All right. Uh, his, his question is if, if this special bombs, will Jeff quit comedy? Also, he wants to know he's coming to the show tonight. Wow. Jesus. A lot to unpack there. Yeah. Okay. A lot to, un- if the yeah. special bombs, gonna be great. the special is going to be great. It'll get about 2,500 views on YouTube oh. and I'll take it all the way to the bank, baby. Mm-hmm. Hell I'm yeah. gonna be. I'm gonna be. I think the special is gonna get a really yeah, good I, pop on I YouTube. I think you gotta throw yeah. a couple more zeros on that. I mean, there. you never. I never. I'll say it. I'll say it, man. I think you. I think it'll, you could hit a mil. No, come yeah, on. I'm gonna put it out there. I'm gonna put out the. Don't you got a following? It's gotta be good. Mm-hmm. Dude, it hasn't you and, yet. and you got some. You got some shooters. God, you, you know who you, sh- you know who you should. True. You should chop this too. See so. Oh. <laughs> I was going for Peacock. I was We're going, going for Quibi. Peacock. Quibi. Yeah, there's all these like streaming services called like Bleep Blop and Plooby. Yeah. <laughs> you should get this on Splooji, dude. Yeah, dude. You should get I, it on Beeble You should get this on Splooji. You can only access it through your Verizon account somehow. You gotta log on to your Verizon. You to Verizon my account. You gotta go to your account and then you log into your Splooji's, and it's, that's how you watch the Cosby It's show. loaded on everybody's phone already, so. Yeah. I have an exclusive deal with Chinese Facebook. Hell nice. yes, dude. It can only be watched on Chinese Facebook. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're huge in China, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Just physically, you're like, you're much yeah, bigger than all of them. I'm a tall guy in China. Guy. <laughs> I'm a tall guy. <laughs> um, uh, say what you will about the Chinese, but... Just say what you will. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> they're <laughs> small people. <laughs> I mean, Yao is tall. Yeah. Yao's yeah, I mean, yeah, huge. Yao's yeah, huge. Mm-hmm. It must have been so crazy being him for most of his life, you know, to be that much taller than everyone else around you. I mean, he's taller than everyone everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Just imagine how Alex feels. You get it gets lonely at the top. It's a nightmare, guys. Really? It's a, no, it's great. It's the best. <laughs> being tall is really great. Do, are you worried I that agree. you're gonna you're gonna die before like me or Alex, Grant? Alex, I agree. <laughs> what? I agree. Being tall is fantastic. Is he, how tall are you? You know, six, three, six, four. <laughs> six, seven. Yeah. What? Uh, yeah, you guys, you guys, are, actually, I think all, th- probably everyone here will probably outlive me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why know? do you think that is? Uh, tall guys are just, we just go, we go earlier, man. You burn but out too fast. If I get to, yeah, it's just too, too much fun. It's you all guys, too much fun. You guys are closer to heaven, so mm-hmm. you're like, <laughs> yeah. I might want to, hey. I might want to pop up. Hey, let me up there. <laughs> let me hey, up man, there. I'm basically right here. <laughs> Come on. Just kind of poking your head up over Come on. there. Uh, but yeah, it'll, it'll be, uh, it's, it's, I, what I do, what I have noticed, dude, it, it is, it is getting tough on the body being the, like my, my knees, my ankles, everything, my back, do you still play basketball? hardly. I shot around with some friends uh, a couple weeks ago and it was just like, we should play in New York, man. Have you thought of, we should, I honestly, by you by Maria Hernandez. I am. Yeah. Let's go shoot. Let's go there. shoot. Have what? you, 
I would love to watch you two go at it. Dude, I'm gonna fucking hit this guy's knees and like. <laughs> it's really like, dude, I can't. No, I'm not, I'm I literally not. can't imagine, be, like, it's just like being my height. Can you still dunk? And like being 45. I haven't, like, I haven't tried, but. Maybe. I, I, I played a year ago and I was getting close. I don't. I, don't, I could dunk in high school. <laughs> And I was I was poking it. You Whatever don't see a lot of issues I have now. It's, it's just gonna keep like my because your joints get all them. loose and I weird, have to, right? Like, really. So like Chris, uh, you guys know Chris Higgins. His dad oh, yeah. is my height, and he takes like a half hour every day just to like stretch and like do like planks and just to like you got to stretch. Just get back to zero. You got to do morning. your mobility. I stretch every morning. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Um, dude, you never see a lot of tall guys in wheelchairs for all the <laughs> problems that they have. They don't make know? it that long. They don't make a chair that big. <laughs> we don't make it to the wheelchair phase. Dude, that'd be no. sweet. Have tall guy wheelchairs were like way taller. Yeah, yeah. yeah like we just like fall. <laughs> his, lay, his, his feet are just dragging. On the ground. <laughs> They're behind the chair dragging. <laughs> Should we I mean, a tall guy wheelchair? No, he's going to die like next month. Yeah. So. Have you ever thought about getting surgery to make you a normal person? Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Being this height in a wheelchair. We're raising money for Alex's normal guy surgery. <laughs> Being this He's too big for his britches. <laughs> too long. <laughs> There might it's the, it's the worst case of being too big for his britches I've ever seen. <laughs> Nurse, get in here. <laughs> He's too big for his britches. I wonder if like, someone, if you saw someone, a 6'6 guy in a wheelchair, and you're yeah. like, how tall are you, sir? He's like, 6'6, six, six, and the, per the person's just like, it Prove would be. It. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Stretch him out. <laughs> Prove it. Stand yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can't. I'm in a wheelchair. Yeah. This is a bad time to be your height, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's actually the that's so, so Ryan and Grant they're short kings, and that might be the mm -hmm. move for you guys. Get a little wheelchair accent action Ooh. and then say that you're six foot six. That's no, a good idea. I've tried that before, Tommy. <laughs> Understandable. Work. Nobody believes. I, 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 could, I could, could make try it work. The, uh, the shoes that'll make you tall. No, but my girlfriend's five eight. I've been thinking about getting them because it would be funny to just well, show how much do they add? Two or three inches. Ooh, yeah. really? well, they should make shoes for you guys. Small shoes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they're, yeah. They dig in. <laughs> they ruin sidewalks. They're like, they're like <laughs> post hole diggers. Yeah. They're yeah. like kind of, yeah. Any restaurant you go to, they're like, do not wear these fucking <laughs> shoes in here. Yeah. Yeah. Manholes. Yeah. Dude, that's good. Manholes. Yeah, manholes in size 15. <laughs> well, it's great when you go to concerts, you can be... You know, you're at the Alex G concert. Dude, I, I, have to, I have to get there. I always have to get to concerts a little early and go to the side That wall. way you can, oh, okay. I'm yeah. on the side wall hanging out Do you, so no one's mad. When did you hit your you, growth spurt? Uh, freshman year of high school. I, I went from 5'10 to 6'4. And then I got Holy to 6'6 six, six my junior year. It's crazy. Dude, sophomore year, I went from 5'2 to 6 feet. Yeah. yeah you, you I was, you I was feel, 10 you inches? Feel like, you feel like a, like a short inches. guy stretched out, I, you know? Me. Yeah, you <laughs> well, have that. That's why I'm so loud and annoying yeah. is because I was short and... Um, you're, yeah, you're, 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 your whole disposition doesn't fit your height, really. Dude, freshman year, I went from 5'4 no to 5'4. Hey, no, I 100% agree with you. I'm, I, that actually means a lot because I feel seen. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not offended. I, I feel like, I'm like, thank you for saying that. It's, you nailed me. You do, feel, you do feel a little shorter. Yeah, yeah, I, well, I was short, and then I grew, and, um, and that was nice. Mm-hmm. That was nice that that happened, but it was painful. That was I had Oscar Slaughter. Were you doing the thing? Uh, I was when I grew the year I grew. I was like sleeping in you know a what? ton. Why are you look at me like What's that? Oscar Slaughter's. I could That's be expensive. pronouncing oh, that incorrectly. It's called Osgood Slaughter. Osgood Slaughter. Oscar oh, you Meyer would, Slaughter. Oh, you would not know that. You <laughs> Tommy chewed it up though. Osgood Slaughter. <laughs> Germans are disgusting. <laughs> What's the disease? Uh, it's where you get. I still. My friend ben Brust. It's where you get bumps oh. on your knees uh, because you're growing so much. So and it's uh, really painful. Your body's like we're growing too fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Did you Did you get it? My friend had it in high school. It's really painful. I was like, I had it, um, and then I would go to church. And uh, pray. Well, they, I <laughs> couldn't. You go away. It would hurt. Well, you'd be kneeling, and you'd be in so much pain. Oh. And I would. It was just like the worst thing ever. Yeah, you, yeah, growing that much in a year is that's insane. Where was everyone pretty stoked? Were you stoked? I was really stoked because I freshman year I got no girls, and I had like a high voice. I mean, I still have a fucking weird voice, but I was like, "What the fuck is going on? No one, no girls like me." It has to. So, <laughs> and then I so, grew a foot, and then I was like, "Oh, was, yeah." Well, well, but the, I think what so people it was the height and looking like a child. That but was for me after that. I needed like a year yeah. to like. Like, so I went from like 5'10 to 6'4. So I went, I just went like 
I'm like pretty tall to like super like gangly tall. Yeah. I needed like a year or two. Once I grew to six six, like put some more muscle on it. I needed to like level out and become Fill like out. I, my body needed to be like were normal. You like, were you like uncoordinated? Yeah. Is it like, kind of like when yeah. you have something in your ear and then you're kind of I became always like off yeah. balance? No, a I was bit. like I was I was like I couldn't <laughs> run or I still couldn't like run or do yeah. yeah. even in college. But like those like that like my sophomore year. My body was just long. You just yeah. turned into like Slender Dude, Man. Dude, it's so weird because yeah. you don't have the weight. Yeah. So I was like one, I was like 120 pounds and I was like six feet. And I was just like, yeah, it's like a weird. I was, I was, dude, I was a, like I was in gym class and my friends were like, like my friends who were not athletes were like, dude, you run really weird. And I was like on the phone with like Michigan the night before. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was get, like, that's how unathletic I was. Do you think, you do you think that's saying? the difference like, between like, it's like, it's like, that was, I was, that I was bad just trying to get play time on JV. Yeah. I was like, I was like, <laughs> and such, failing people. Like I was noticeably <laughs> yeah. a bad athlete. Yeah. For, like for how, yeah. Do you think that's the difference between like, like someone who's like a good D one athlete, like when they hit that growth spurt, they're still really awkward. Whereas like someone who's, it's like, oh, this guy's like a professional athlete are just like, they're like, they grow they're naturally. just like grown men. Well, a, lot kinda, of, a lot like, of those guys, a lot of the guys that get, uh, become great players, yeah. they have, they, they're late bloomers. They have because, like that awkward. Uh, um, um, you know, Scotty Pippen. Anthony, uh, Anthony Davis. Mm -hmm. Like they're yeah. all, they're all, they're all like point guards their whole life. And then they get to 6'10". Yeah. And then they're like, are we taking a picture? I'm taking a picture. Whatever. Dude, those guys are freaks, though. When so you meet like a real professional athlete, I played like, I played Iman, like, Iman Shumpert was from my area. He, he went from like 5'10 to 6'4 his junior year. Dude, became all American. I met, I met Kevin Garnett when he, he would come to like the pancake house I used to work at one time and he like <laughs> got out of his like Escalade or whatever. And I was just looking at him like, dude, we're not like not even the same thing. You know what oh, I mean? Like, yeah. like we're not the same species. Mm -hmm. Like this is, you're a different thing entirely. I, I played on like yeah. good traveling teams in like middle school, like just like the AAU shit. And like, even in like sixth, seventh grade, you'd be like, you'd go to like Iowa for like a tournament and you're like, all right, we're playing these like kids from Chicago. And there's like yeah. sixth grade, there's like one kid who's like six, four. And he's just like yamming on the warmups. And I'm just like. Fuck, I literally don't have pubes. <laughs> oh, dude. dude. It sucks. Dude, oh, yeah. I'm toast, dude. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Fuck, I, yeah. I literally don't have pubes. I'm in sixth grade. I, uh, dude, I, got, I got invited to this. I was playing in this. There was like, in summer, they used to have these like, all-American camps that the shoe companies would have. So, like, uh, they invited a couple kids from each state. And uh, I remember I got matched up. One of the first drills, I got matched up playing one-on-one -on -one with, a, uh, with a John Wall. Oh, and no. <laughs> they were, like, first to three. He couldn't have beat me to three fat. Like it was yeah. just like in 10 seconds, just like over check ball, check ball, check ball. It's like a, it, it, it's like a completely different, uh, like a sport. Yeah. Oh, yeah. From, What's from crazy now. is yeah. like, if that would have happened nowadays, you would be on an Instagram reel, just getting annihilated. You know, yeah. Yeah. Like Thank he God. would have an account. He would be 13 and have an account with like a million yeah. followers. Yeah. Yeah. But then you would, you would, you destroy would, his white Serbian. But then <laughs> you would have a following <laughs> for being the guy who just got his shit rocked. Yeah, 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 yeah. You would still pick up some followers. You would get right? like 20K Yeah, he would tag you too. in it. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. Um, yeah, dude, when I, when I was a kid and I would like box, when I was in boxing, it was always like, when I was 10, if I was like, about to like fight a, like a Mexican kid with a mustache. I was like, oh, I'm fucked. This is yeah. over. Yeah. This dude's like, any, any this dude's full of menudo and he's going to beat the shit out of me. <laughs> this is a guy. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. What does menudo mean? Menudo's like a it's Mexican a soup, right? soup. Yeah. It's like, uh, I think it's lamb, maybe. I, I don't know. It's some full of menudo. Yeah, he's like full of menudo. They love oh, menudo. Shit. Wait, that group from the oh, 80s is just named yeah, after yeah, a, soup? It was a band. Yeah. Maybe it's pork. I don't know what it is. I don't know. It's something belly. It's it's something. Isn't it like intestines? Yeah, I think so. Wow. Like tripe? It's good. I've, I've tried it. It's okay. pretty good. Yeah. Nudo. I thought that was like a like a move. Yeah. Oh, I got my like nudo. A, like a maneuver. <laughs> I did too. I was like, what's that? That was box? like Mexican gumption. Yeah. yeah. He's, He's got a lot of menudo in his yeah. ass. That boy's got a yeah. lot of menudo. Yeah. Like Israel has like Krav Maga or whatever, and then... Is that like what judo, yeah, 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 and like, yeah, whatever. Um, oh, I guess. Tommy, it's awesome that Israel's oh, like only there. martial arts is like gun based. You know what I mean? Do they like, use guns in that? Well, they're like, yeah, it's like the whole thing is like get this gun away from this guy. Mm. It's like self defense. It's anti muzz yeah. karate. <laughs> what if like uh, if like an Israeli like person who knows how to do Krav Maga, if you don't have a gun, are they just fucked? Like they don't know what to grab on, you know? <laughs> like they're just like, will you hold this gun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> will you point this gun at me? <laughs> that, that so does I'm feel. trying to kick your ass. Yeah. <laughs>
Wait, are we really? So we're releasing this as a joint pod. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your pod again? <laughs> we are, we are, we are about. We got do, we, do we have a listener apology? Because oh yeah, this is what they do. They do our apologize. podcast. We uh, apologize. We apologize for, for things. Uh-huh. So if you and know, I'll apologize right now for the fact that Tommy made me do that, those Down syndrome bits. I thought it was so, funny, but it's, people write in. Sorry about they that. They write man. in anonymous okay. apologies. Sorry, sorry. Did anyone write I'm in an apology? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, we have one. You have an apology. They got a side podcast going on real quick right now. Read read the apology. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Do you also well, let me pull one up and if you guys so did, I'll just explain this. So listeners will write in things uh, that they're sorry for. They do or, it anonymously, or, or they'll demand an apology. I don't, like I don't have this, my phone. Sh- Should I apologize? Yeah, do you have anything you want to apologize to. for? Great. I do, do want to apologize to Alex because yeah. I'm oh, cutting your time it. to ten minutes tonight. So I just wanted to apologize for that. That's Get okay. that out of the way so beforehand. Who else on the show tonight? Alex, you obviously, you, and Courtney Baca. Okay, you, and uh, you, Al, Ali Sultan's on the late my, show. Took my ex girlfriend. Got your huh? ex girlfriend on the show. Sorry. How, so how are you feeling coming into this? I'm feeling as long as my voice holds <laughs> in, it's gonna be good. I'm super excited for you. I'm excited mm-hmm. As, mm-hmm. as long as my voice doesn't crack or something. You got three shows, right? Four. Whoa! Sold out, bitch. Big Daddy. Sold out, bitch. Come on. Okay, big, da- okay, <laughs> big, big daddy. daddy. It's all my Republican fans, my new Republican fans. I went viral on Republican Instagram, and I got... I thought they hate you. No, they liked this one joke because I said libtard. Uh, and they were, yeah. they, it got shared by so funny it got say, shared though. by this patriot comedy meme account yeah <laughs> and it just went really big but it's all these american flag people following me and i don't i think well, some of them just, are going to be in for a rude awakening it's yeah, crazy they're just going to uh, hate you on your next you just can't control what patriot people yeah yeah interpret Patri- some of them will like it i'm sure patriot flag account like Sharing one of your reels is worth more than like a thousand Conan sets now. You know? Oh, for like sure. It's just like oh, it's like Doctor Drool or something, yeah. and he yeah. had like three million followers. Yeah. It tr- I did. I have not. That not that I've seen. All right, your friend Dehan, who's a basketball player, pro basketball player, he followed me the other day. Oh really? What do you? Do you have do a few ye? buddies in the league, Alex? Not now. I only have a. I, I got a buddy who made they it. They all died because they were I'm so tall. So stoked. <laughs> who who made it? <laughs> this kid, I grew up grew up playing basketball with him, Amir Coffee. Plays oh, for like wow. the Sacramento Kings, I think. Really? Oh, one of the best like, teams in the league. He's like six man. He's like coming off. He's Yeah, do you Where, know who I'm talking play, about? Did you play at Georgetown or something? Or where did he play? He played at the U. Really? Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, at Minnesota. He's, yeah, he's like, you know about the coffee people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's one of those kids. Damn, the coffee know. people? It's like this basketball family. This one's too long. All right. Yeah, they hate the T family. Oh, you got an apology? I do. I do. Okay. I, I'm hold on. Let's let it rip. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. What, uh, we have our, our listeners. You're a shut the fuck up. Son of a bitch, Ryan. <laughs> We have we have our listeners write in apologies uh, anonymously so we can apologize for them. If you want to do that, go to wecoolpodcast.com. Uh, okay. I need to demand an apology from the lady that cut me off by cutting across three lanes of traffic. Then after I honked, she flicked me off at the red light. We both ended up hitting like I was the asshole that was driving like Ray Charles with a BAC of 0.18. <laughs> Wow! So that's this they is got our, a roast these in are there. They got a nice yeah. roast in there. It would be amazing if Ray Charles could make it to the red light yeah. and was driving on a three-way highway. <laughs> that would be, that Honestly, would be incredible. I think yeah. you should commend them. Yeah, he loved to drive. <laughs> <laughs> he'd, he'd sober and drive. I, it was just as dangerous. That's as the <laughs> thing about Ray Charles, man. He loved driving cars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> classic car collector. He that's loved so to just funny. get behind the wheel, have a few drinks, and just. Well, it's actually God. ableist to not let him drive. Yes. So, <laughs> this is <laughs> yeah, you saw a, guy, a blind guy parking a handicap and just get out, <laughs> and then you'd be like, I, well, "Okay, yeah. all right." This is this actually could be a good <laughs> That's segment another on your thing, show. A blind yeah. Uber driver, you get in. <laughs> blind he, Uber yeah. driver. <laughs> he's he's using sonar. That's like, that's, that's, oh, he's using sonar that's to a navigate. Sketch. He's like doing echo loca- that, that's location. A, that's a yeah. damn sketch. That's a damn sketch. Blind Uber driver. He has a horn that he It don't get he better. Hits, than that. And then he knows if someone's in front of him. He has a really long stick. <laughs> 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 he has he's, out the, he's holding it out. The, What's it the called? The like a javelin? You know when they're yeah, on the yeah, horse? Yeah. yeah What's yeah, that yeah. called? A lance. Okay. What a about lance. what about two blind guys going? 
you know, the cars are coming towards each uh-huh. other. They like each jousting. have one of those. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like what about blind there should be NASCAR yeah. for blind guys. <laughs> 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 they should let NASCAR drivers drive drunk. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I have like one a year where God it's like, damn it, we are full of hammered. good ideas. Yeah. You guys really are full of good ideas. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, so that's it. That's what we, our listeners, write shit in like that. Yeah. So, so if, right, right into the if you have a thing to apologize for, if you mm-hmm. want to demand an apology, if someone wronged you, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right yeah. into Grant Winkles. Yeah, comedy. you can. What's your yeah, you can go to GrantWinklesComedy.com dot com or or <laughs> we cool gave podcast. Up so quick, <laughs> <laughs> you had it. I got yeah. tired. GrantWinklesComedy.com dot com slash we cool podcast. Mm-hmm. And uh, hey. Listen, listen to our listen podcast. To the podcast. You guys got anything to plug? Any you guys as the, a group? Just my Wait, little when's butt. This, when's this coming out? Uh, not next Monday. The Monday after Thanksgiving. Okay, great. Uh, co- <laughs> December second and third. I'm headlining Comedy Corner Underground. Let's do it. Yeah. Dan yeah. Carney's uh, gonna also be friend there of the pod, too. fun guy. Friend Thank of the God, pod. Danny Carney. Oh, yeah, Danny, he's the we'll best. probably be doing sets on those shows too. Me and Ryan. Mm-hmm. So. And if you like Comedy Corner Underground, but you don't like Tommy, come December 9th and 10th. I will be there. Nice. Um, if you don't like Tommy or Ryan, come New oh Year's fuck. Eve. I'll be there at Comedy, Comedy Corner. Corner. Oh, really? Uh, We're going to sneak Corner. on that yeah. show. Hell yeah. yeah. Me and Tommy are going to sneak on. Are you I'm home? I'm going to sneak Over on that little Tommy? show. No. We did oh. New Year's Eve there together we we did like a couple years ago. Two years ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was fun. It's going to be fun. Maybe I should say, because I'm going home for Christmas. Drago, do you have anything to plug? I'm headlining a Don't Tell in Philly, but I guess if you you can DM me, I'll send you the where the event bright is and everything. You're already telling December December 2nd. I think I'm headlining the Don't Tell in Philly. I think I'm head. I think I'm going to close out the the next in lines in Philly the next night. So did you know the name of that show originally used to be Don't Ask, Don't Tell? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they had to change yeah. it. We're going to cut that. Because of cancel We're gonna culture. Cut that. <laughs> We're going to cut that. Yeah, we, that's that's getting. Cut. And uh, what else? This is going to be episode fifty-two. All fifty-two right. episodes N word free. We've kept it going, you guys. Forty-eight more till the big party. <laughs> Everyone knows. Is that where you say it finally? Yeah. yeah I, we, and, um, we have not disclosing what's happening at the party. It's in Little Rock, Arkansas. <laughs> Bring your best. It's going to uh, be a good time. It's going to uh, be a good time. Uh, thanks for listening, everyone. Um, Alex, you brought us in. Why don't you take us out? Yeah, with one of the worst <laughs> intros of all time. Let's see yeah. if we can land the plane uh-huh. right here. Well, they just do what Jeff does. You're an idiot. Goodbye. That's what you do. <laughs> I just can do it better. Okay, you got it. You've been an idiot for listening. Good night and good luck. Thank Peace. you. Bye. Bye forever. You gotta say good night and good luck.